hello guys welcome to another video in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to migrate your website from hostgator to bluehost um i w actually want to migrate because i have to renew my subscription plan and it's actually very expensive for me to do currently uh and then i just want to migrate to another uh, another platform which gives me discount like 70 percent discount as a new customer so i'm migrating it's going to be an automatic migration i don't have to do it manually so stick to the end for you to get everything i'll be sharing in this video so diving into it the first thing we have to do is to generate a backup from hostgator so this is my control panel i launch my control panel and then i want to go to download a full backup of my website so this is my control panel i come down to my files and then backup and then download a full so I, I click that so i come to home directory just leave it as it is currently and I put my email so that it will send me an email whenever the download is finished so I can go and download it so it generates backup so it's in progress right now and probably if you want to do anything else you may want to come here to Google and search for how to do some more complex thing with your backup how to set some of the things that you may want so these are all the information you need on how to download your backup but if it's just migration just do what I told you to do now I've gotten an email that my my download is completed so that's where it is my download is completed right now so i can click on that to go straight to it so but i want to come back to my host gator so let me just click on back here even if it's in progress you can still go back and yes that's my backup i click on it and then it's going to download on my computer so if you actually generate another backup it's going to Add that one to it so now I want to go to my domain I want to go and unlock my domain right now I want to unlock my domain so I come to the domain that I want to unlock so I come to prior locking change it yes I, I put it then so it will give me an EPP key so I will need the EPP key so I will need the EPP key I, I come here to unlock the domain so I've unlocked it, so it's going to give me an EPP key. Do not let anybody know your EPP key because if they know, they can get your domain. But because I've already done what I need to do, that's why I'm showing this. So I copy it. You will need it very soon. So now I want to go and buy. I want to go and buy uh, a, a host plan on Bluehost right now. So I just want a basic plan. What I want is a basic plan. So I click select, and then create a new domain. No use the domain you own because I already have my domain so this is my domain and then I click next and then I will have to fill in all my details right now after it load so it's still loading yes so it's asking my name my ATM everything here I don't want to show a lot of my details here so I just put everything there and then I come to click submit so it's processing right now so it's loading yes so this is what we have it's the beginning of your adventure so click on start migration because i want to migrate the website i'm not creating it from afresh so i want to start migrating so there I, I want a free one free migration package so these are some of the other things you may browse but i just want a free get started it's free so it's loading for me so now it tells me to enter the welcome to the website migrator these are the four main steps that i need to do so i put my website so and then i i check if it will work it will first check if it's okay for migration yeah it says we are compatible because there are some that may not be compatible maybe your website is too heavy maybe you have a lot of complexity on your website it might not work so but this one is compatible so i click login to wordpress so it's loading for me right now so it's a blue host migrator so I have to install now install it I'm automatically logging to WordPress because I already saved my password and everything that's why it's logged me in straight away so I click on install now 
so yes it's installing so it's installed to allow to activate plugin so i click on activate plugin so it's activating right now i'll just come here now to site migrator to migrate my website site migrator and then it is it's going to check the compatibility again just click on check compatibility and then it looks like we are compatible next let's transfer your website so that's it is transforming your website right now preparing to generate package i'm folding a lot of things here so it's loading trying to transfer the website so packaging teams right now so i have this so log in to bluehost you transfer your website to bluehost now you just need to set your bluehost account so you can review it so let's just follow the prompt log into bluehost so let's go so source domain name source server is generated on its own so let's go we are good to go so it looks good so it's good so just click looks good that's my own account name owner's email and primary domain so looks good so yeah just one more click so proceed so we are still in the migration process we've not finally done the migration we've not finally done it so i have this right now so it's still loading so you can click it's still loading but i can click on the website to just check it open in a new, new tab or i can click it directly just check that my website is still intact. So it's temporary domain right now. I like because it has not finally migrated. I'm just able to show it to see this through the temporary domain provided by Bluehost. So now it's loaded for me. So I have to review start, review sites and then approve it. I'm still going to see what I see just right now. Temporary domain. If you look at the URL, so it just provided that for me to confirm that everything is working okay. So that. They won't migrate maybe my website is not full or some of the things is not okay so i just want to check all the pages and make sure everything is actually quite okay and on this they are everything is actually quite okay these are images that i think the images are a little bit big that's why it's slow to load if you want to put images on your website make just make sure they are they don't have they are not big images so that you load quick so it's actually good for me this is good everything is the way it is before so contact us i've checked this as well this is also cool this is cool as well so i just have to approve the site right now then approve site then approve it approve so it's going to load it's loading currently so connect my domain so i want to connect my domain right now to bluehost i have to go to hostgator and connect my domain so these are the name servers these are the name servers if yours is godaddy go to godaddy if yours is namecheap go to namecheap or my this blue server so i just have to go to my hostgator panel so i just log in So I want to connect the name server. I want to connect Blue Host name server to my account at HostGator so that everything will link and perform the way they're supposed to perform. So I go to launch uh, to launch C panel. Oh no, I just go to domains. I go to domains. Yes, I go to my domains. I have more than one domain in my in my account. So I want to link this domain to Bluehost, this Lightspeed Travel that I'm transferring. So click on more. And then this is the name server, this HostGator name server. So I want to change the name server. So I want to change the name server to Bluehost name server. So I come back there, what's the uh, NH, NH, ns1.bluehost.com. And then that number, I copy it. But I copied the number actually in front but whichever one you do just watch it's going to it's still going to work so i copy the number but it's going to whenever i 
put it, it's going to automatically connect it to ns2bluehost.com and stuff like that. I'm just using the number, but it's going to locate it itself. Whichever one is convenient for you, you can use the ns1.bluehost.com directly or use the number as I've used it and it will still, it will still work. So I just copy the number and then I put it there and then I can then save name server. It's going to give me an error message actually, let's see. Yeah, there was an error loading this domain. So just refresh it and then you will see that everything will be okay right now. It's going to change the name server to ns1.bluehost.com. That's the right uh, name server actually. So that is it. It's not showing me error again. So if I click it, you see ns1.bluehost.com, ns2.bluehost.com. So that is just how to connect the name server. So the next thing now, let's go back to our, our Bluehost file manager. I want to upload my backup that I download at the beginning. So I just go to upload. I want to, I go to upload, upload, then I can then, I want to drag it. I don't want to, I don't want to just pick it. Of course, we can do anyone. I don't know why I'm doing some absurd things right now. So I just want to drag it. So I drag it. So it's loading the backup for me right now. So it's necessary to have the backup. All your e whenever you create all the professional emails that you've created before, you will have all your emails again in your Bluehost uh, emails. You will have all your emails intact. So I, I, the backup is there, but I, the backup is supposed to be inside public underscore HTML. So I just go to move and then I type the path. It's supposed to be under public underscore HTML. So I click on move up there and then I put it underscore HTML and then HTML. Yes. And then I click move files. So it's going to move it there. So you see, you didn't see it there again. So if I click on public HTML, so I have it there. So that's my backup. So that's it. So sometimes when, when, when you are doing this, you may also want to be in touch with the uh, with an ad with a customer care so that they can help you on zip it and put it put everything where it's supposed to be So I can just go to my domain now and click transfer to Bluehost Transfer to Bluehost click on it and then actually there's actually a step that you need to do first here that I didn't actually put that I didn't I have a problem with a technical problem doing the first thing they will ask is your EPP authorization code which is which is this your app authorization code i put it it's not something it's not something absurd it's not something out of the ordinary just put your app key that's step one i mean step two right now immediately click transfer to bluehost they will ask you for the app the app that we copy at the beginning then you put it here and this is the step two so that's just that and then make sure everything is okay use their name server use privacy i don't want to use privacy so that they won't charge me i don't want i unclick everything that may may auto, my that may make them charge me so I don't want them, I don't want to be charged. So I just want to check that everything is okay. And then I click hard to cut. Yes, I own this domain and blah, blah, blah. I click hard to cut. I'm just buying the domain. Uh, so I just had to cut. Yeah, so it's because they don't actually sell the domain because most of these uh most of these websites server, they just give they just say the package for you, they don't say the name domain name for you at the beginning so this is domain name it's free for one year so i check out so this is the domain that i'm buying again here i've already buy the package the host plan so i click check out so that my domain name will not just expire anyhow so this is my domain i bought the domain so this is everything that i need to do so that is it for transferring your uh, your website automatically from uh, from HostGator to Bluehost. And my website is transferred already. You can see this is my website. So that is it very much. This is Entrepreneur Hub, where I teach about skills and how to make money online. Kindly like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.